Hello guys, it's Matt Theme Park Update or Wannabe here and today I'm going to be giving you guys a recap on what the news has said based on Southern California theme parks and what they have to do to reopen. Everything I'm going to say today will be a big recap from what ABC7 has provided me with information based on theme park guidances to reopen. So here are the main takeaways from today's news. To start off, we have the fact that larger theme parks may only resume operations in the yellow tier. California had issued these guidances today to theme parks in order for them to reopen and many had not been happy with this decision. If you guys aren't aware of the yellow tier, it basically is saying that there's barely any cases in the county and per every 100,000 people in the county, only one person can test positive, meaning it's very limited and there's basically no issues in the county. On the other hand, that means Disneyland in the county of Orange County has to be in the yellow tier in order for it to reopen, which is very hard to get to. Saying they have to reopen in the yellow tier is basically saying that COVID doesn't even exist. This instantly triggered the president from the Disneyland Resort and the people that work there. Without the Disneyland Resort being open, cast members won't have jobs until they reopen. This makes life hard for everyone to get through, especially during these terrible COVID times. Instead of agreeing with the new guidances that the Disneyland Resort has been given, the president of the Disneyland Resort has instantly went off. Rapidly after the news of the new guidances for the theme parks to reopen, the Disneyland president has said, we've proven that we can responsibly open with science-based health and safety protocols strictly enforced at our theme park properties around the world. Nevertheless, the state of California continues to ignore this fact and said mandating arbitrary guidelines that it knows are unworkable and that holds us to a standard vastly different from other reopened businesses and state-operated facilities. Obviously, the president of the Disneyland Resort is not happy with these new decisions made by the state. Along with that, the LA, Riverside, and San Bernardino, as of today, 1020, are still on the purple tier. The tier list for COVID goes as follows, from worst to best. Starts at purple, then goes to red, orange, and yellow. Yellow being the best case scenario. On the other hand, in California, smaller parks can open at the orange tier, which is right above yellow. No matter how big or how small the parks are, they only can open with a limited capacity of 25%. Going back to the yellow tier for larger theme parks to open, it does not only apply to Disneyland, but anywhere else like Universal or Six Flags around SoCal. And again, as I said in my previous videos, each and every single one of these parks, no matter how big or small, are required to have reservations in order to enter the park. Having this limited capacity of 25% makes it extremely hard to actually get in the park. As for what happened today, that is pretty much it. A big recap of the ABC7 broadcast on theme park guidances. And if you guys have any questions about the theme parks, please leave them below and I'll get to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys for tuning in today. If you guys did like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you guys didn't, hit that dislike and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys can get the update as quick as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.